This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by AI. AI. Yeah, what's a favorite memory of activism that you have, of some kind of activism you've been involved in that you thought was most memorable? Well, the most straightforward government abuse type of thing. Um, a few of us were um, protesting in uh, Manchester. Um, you know, this was a couple of years ago. And uh, George Bush happened to be coming to that hotel where we were protesting. And they set up a free speech zone. And you were protesting something completely different that was going on at that hotel, and George Bush just happens later on to decide he's going to come by that hotel. Yeah. So the Secret Service came by and told me that um, the agreement was we had to be in this free speech zone across the street. And I said, well, I didn't agree to any such thing. And he went off and got the um, city police. And they got in a big discussion with Russell. He was refusing to go over there. And uh, I started yelling at him, and they arrested both of us. It really freaked Kira out, <laughs> my daughter. She was right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. And so our friends Don and Kathleen took off with her after we got arrested. It's been hard on her um, the last week or so, wondering if the feds were going to arrest me. So she's a little upset about that. Well, is there anything that you would have to say... Uh, to people who are considering moving to New Hampshire for, for more freedom, but maybe not sure they're going to actually do it. I think that people got to stand up and do something because our government is getting so bad. And New Hampshire is a good place to do it. we got a lot of people really active, really wanting to do stuff. I think we're making effect, and you'll like it here. And as you pointed out, in your case, you got arrested, but there were people to back you up, you know, and, and, and um, take care of your daughter as mm -hmm. soon as it happened. And then there were other people that protested on your behalf afterwards. And I guess it was, how many people showed up at your trial? Oh, there were at least 20. One of them brought six guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and had to check them at the metal detector. That was very funny. <laughs> he just kept pulling them out and sticking them on the desk. <laughs> All right. Well, Cat Canning... Welcome home to New Hampshire. Thanks. We'll see you out there. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Sakel CAI, a company that does collections a whole new way, even if they are sometimes hidden by my mitten. Sakel CAI knows not only do you want your money, they also know you want to keep your customers. Sakel CAI, they collect with respect. Sakel CAI. Take all the AI.